This tutorial will introduce the major features of ModFit LT. It takes just a few minutes and will demonstrate how to automatically analyze a DNA data file. Let's get started. Start the program and click the OK button on the banner page. The main toolbar appears at the top of the application window. The buttons are arranged to give you quick access to the most common commands in ModFit LT. Click the File button on the toolbar. The Open File dialog will be displayed. With this dialog, you can navigate to a folder in which you have stored the data you want to analyze with ModFit LT. We'll just open a sample file for now. In the Samples folder located where ModFit LT is installed, select Sample 1 FCS from the list. Click Open to load the file. ModFit LT reads the sample file and displays the histogram on the report page. And now you're ready to analyze. Click the Auto button on the toolbar. ModFit LT begins its automatic analysis of the sample. It scans the histogram for peaks, and based on the sizes and relative positions, the program will attempt to determine the number of cell cycles in the sample then it creates a model to use with that sample and performs a nonlinear least squares analysis of the data. The program displays the analyzed histogram and the computed percentages for various populations. All of the elements on the report page are movable and most can be resized, allowing you to customize the look of your reports. Review the results of the analysis and note that ModFit LT provides information on the cell cycle compartments G0, G1, S, and G2, and that the sum of the percentages is 100%. Debris and aggregates are not part of the cell cycle and do not affect compartment percentages. The debris and aggregate percentages are presented in their own section. Up on the toolbar, note the button labeled Auto Linearity. This just might become your best friend. Click the button and ModFit LT will fine-tune the analysis by adjusting the linearity factor. How it does that is the subject of another tutorial. Now let's add some text to the report. A report toolbar appears next to the main toolbar, making it easy to add objects to the report. Click the text tool in the report toolbox. The edit text dialog appears and here you can enter any text you want to add to the report. In addition, you can store comments in a database so that they can be easily retrieved without having to retype them. You can always see Report Design in ModFidelity's Help menu for more on using comments and moving objects on the report. Type a comment and then click OK. The comment is displayed on the report and now you can move it to a desired location. Click and hold the mouse button down on the text you just added. Drag it to a new location and release the mouse button. All report objects can be moved in the same way. This is a good time to save the report. ModFit LT has a quick and convenient way to do this called Auto Save Report. This creates a name for your report based on the name of the data file you've analyzed. Click the Save button on the toolbar and your report has now been stored on disk. Let's see what the saved report looks like. First, from the File menu, select New. This option clears the report from their screen for now, so we can be sure we're looking at the saved report. From the File menu now, select Open Report. The File Open dialog is displayed, showing the reports in the Report folder. Here you can navigate to a new folder if you might need to. Select the report you just saved, Sample1FCS.MFL, and click Open. The report will be loaded and you should see things just the way they appeared when the report was saved. You can use the Recent Reports menu in the File menu to select from a set of recently saved reports. By the way, opening a saved report can also serve as a template for a particular model that you may have developed. Thanks for listening.